welcome to another episode L. of Boulevard Ave TV. I am your host, Old Man Logan. It's your boy, King B. It's the Kid Gas Station P. All right, and we got a guest in the building today. Can you tell him your name, young lady? Marisha. All right, Marisha, thank you for coming, being a guest on Boulevard Ave TV. Thank you. All righty, all righty. So, Marisha, we got a bunch of questions here for you. We're going to go ahead and get started. You ready? Yep. Alrighty, so this is the first question I like to ask everybody that comes in, and that's, uh, you know what I'm saying, interv- coming for an interview. So I want you to tell us who is Marisha, and how did you get into modeling and designing? Well, Marisha is um, basically like a brand now. Um, my name is really spelled Marisha, M-O-R-R-I-S-H-A, mm-hmm. but I started shortening it um, when I became a model. Uh, I basically got into modeling, um I knew I always wanted to model, and I just um, collaborated with this uh, photographer. He used to do this little management mm-hmm. thing, and then he started managing me. Basically, one thing led to another, it didn't go right, but I learned the, you know, the ropes, and it really helped me. I knew what I had to do to start, and I just after that, I just started booking photo shoots, and invested in myself, mm-hmm. booking photographers, building my portfolio, and that's how I got into modeling. Okay, cool. Okay. So you, um, you're also a fashion designer, too? Yeah, I design all of my clothes for my shop, which mm-hmm. is Marisha Pop Shop, MarishaPopShop.net. So, um, what are some uh, influences that got you wanting to um, design clothes and get into fashion and whatnot? Um, well, I've always been into fashion, so I would definitely say, like, I really inspired myself, but I, if I had to, like, you know, choose someone, I would definitely say, like, Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like her style. Okay. All right. Um, what's your thoughts on the fashion world lately? Like how everything is guys wearing man purses and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, well, my thoughts, I feel like, um, you know, everybody have their own style, like, mm-hmm. you know, their own little demeanor. So, like, to you, it might be like a purse. To them, they might feel like they swaggy and it might not even mean nothing, you know? Because, right. you know, uh, where fashion is going to a whole different level, like, far as like fitted clothes but I know the 90s is really coming back like the baggy shirts mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys seen it yeah. like you'll see like Ju- jewels or you know somebody like that with like bigger clothes on alright so uh, what have been some of the challenges you've had so far since you started Marisha Pop Shop um, a lot um, some of the main challenges I would say would be like, you know, not having a real big support <coughs> system. Mm-hmm. You know, you try not to dwell on it and complain about it or try to make that an excuse because I still push for it. But I feel like, you know, just not having a real big support system. You know, people that have been around me, you know, family, they don't really want to support. Mm-hmm. You know, friends, they just start acting different. And mm-hmm. so I feel like that was one of the biggest challenges and everything going slow. Yeah, so I feel like those two were the biggest challenges. And also like... Um, just yourself, you know, you holding yourself back, you know, sometimes you feel like, I can't do this, man, it's too hard, you know, so I feel like that's been one of the biggest challenges, but I overcame them, so. Okay, okay. All right, so, um, so what you got on today, is that something you designed? Um, yes, um, a shirt, but this is one of my portfolio pictures that I shot, um, yeah. last year, back in, like, January. All right, yeah. so when you, so when you get into, like, designing, do you... Is it like something that's premeditated? Like, is it something that you already thought about doing, or is it something that just come as you go? Like yeah, the idea. Like far as the design, every design. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just something that comes as I go. Okay. Like I just play around with designs, or sometimes I'll be thinking about something, or most of the time I'll just I will want something, then I will design, and I know if I want something, I you know right. I know it'll look good, and I'll be like, okay, let me create this, or I really focus on like serving people, so I kind of uh, realize like. When a lot of people compliment me on something, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I should turn this into some money to a right. brand. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so is that is that the thought process? Not to cut you off, okay. Is that the thought process uh, when you, when you are designing? Like you you design for yourself first, and then you think back to like, okay, this is something, um, you know, somebody else might like as well. Or do you say, all right, I'm gonna design this and then, you know, promote it and then you know go from there. Well, I really, like, express myself through my designs. So, like, for example, a lot of my shirts, like, want to say, like, hard, want to say, like, F average, or, you know, and, like, they all have meaning behind it, mm-hmm. you know? So I kind of express myself through my designs, and I know that somebody else might ha- like it. Somebody else might like a shirt that say levels. Somebody else might like a shirt that say humble, crossed out, like, mm-hmm. you know? So I kind of express myself, and I'm putting my thoughts onto shirts. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, what made you come up with the name instead of using like you know a made up name or something? Just use your own. What made you say you want to do it that way? Because when I first started off model, modeling, even though I knew that that was my dream, I wanted to do that. Um, as I worked my way into it, I kind of wanted to turn myself into a brand. Mm -hmm. And my name was Marisha as a model, so I just made it Marisha Pop Shop. Okay. You know, I was, it's just basically my shop expressing myself, selling like streetwear. Yeah. Okay. And that's what that's how I came up with Marisha Pop Shop. Just a smaller, smaller shop. Um, I'm not sure where I, you know. You know whether it get big or not, but it you know that's what I wanted it to be like a smaller online shop where people just come and shop like unisex T-shirts, dad has you know streetwear. All right. Have you ever done a pop up shop? Um, no, I never did a real big pop up shop with different vendors, mm -hmm. vendors there, mm -hmm. collaborating, networking different people. No. All right. Um. So with your items, uh, are they made to order or do you just like make them in bulk and then just just you know sell them like that? Um, both. Sometimes I make them to order, mm -hmm. depending, you know, sometimes it might get a little slow and I make them to order. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll just be having designs like ready, like I know this hot, like, or somebody reach out to me, like now I'm starting to get calls in, you know, they want to like buy the merch from me, they gonna hang it up in a store, they want to sell it in a store. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so if you had to choose between the two, which, which would be your preferred like way to just have it? there on hand or just you know make what you're gonna make for yourself and then as the orders come in start start making more i would prefer it to be on hand just to have like you know a few stocks of you know if it's sale to sale it's never gonna be a waste you know it's always good to invest in yourself so okay all right so you mentioned like this was like uh i think you call it a streetwear yeah so what's like your target consumer like are you looking to Make clothes more geared towards women or men or both or yeah both both more of a street style um, kind of laid back like I said unisex these mm -hmm. dad hats um, jackets you know just something dope you know and uh, then I, I know I always want to expand it into something better I want to get you know more into high fashion mm -hmm. but like honestly I really just started off as streetwear and like t-shirts and hats because it was like cheaper you know right. I knew I wanted to make a way like I'm like I got to turn my name into a brand I was going through it I'm like Man, I got to flip I got to do something and I just thought of something my passion I just started coming up with these thoughts and expressing myself through shirts and I'm like this hot let me show it to the world somebody else somebody might think it's dope okay um since the fashion has been like this year lately it's been a lot of collaborations going on with shoes and other clothes and would you want to have a chance to collaborate with a shoe company or a clothing company? Yes, I will. Which 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 companies would um, you want to? Man, it's so many. Um, I would love to, like I said, I would love to collaborate with um, Fenty. Um, I would love to co collaborate with uh, maybe like Kylie Jenner. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a couple of small like brands like Maddie brand. Um, I am the GIA label. It's, you know, most of them are, like, online shops that come off Instagram that sell, mm, like, dope right. clothes that, like, most of the celebrities and public figures wear. Pretty dope. So I would love to collaborate. I'm open to collaboration and stuff. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. So when you're coming up with the with the slogans for, like, some of your shirts, I, I noticed you got that on, like, you got a lot of different, like, you know, words on that. Like, you say humble with it, like, crossed out. Like, um, has it been... Like, how do you decide on, like, which one? Like, let's say you have a handful of them you're thinking of at one time. Like, how do you decide which one is, like, the one to go with? Do you, like, bring them to some, you know, to some close friends or whatever and be like, yo, which one y'all think would be best or, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. do you just kind of, like, maybe make a sample of each of them and then see how to, what the temperature is for all of them? Yeah, I make, like, at least, like, five or, or more designs on and um I kind of narrow them down myself, and then once I, if I can't choose, I go to the I go to the audience, mm -hmm. and I will maybe pool it like which one do y'all like better? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to serve you know serve the people. What what y'all like better? Right. What y'all you know what's your style? What color you like? You know, and I go off that. But mostly I just try to drop like every design I make, even if it's just a different color. Maybe this was a different word, because everybody like I said everybody got different styles. Somebody right. might be like, man, mm -hmm. I like the red one, like <laughs> so. Yeah. So, um, is there anything within um, designing that you not that you're not doing that you want to do or you plan to do in the future? Like um, maybe shoes or boots. Or? 
Yeah, shoes, boots. Yeah, most important is just um, getting into, you know, high fashion. Mm-hmm. And kind of getting everything, manu- you know, manufactured. Like, getting real big. Because I really would love to make, like, my own clothes and sewing and, right. and help stuff like that. But like I said, I started off like that because, you know, that's what my budget was. And I knew, right, like, right. I'm ready. Like <laughs> I saw on the website you had, like, a, um, what's it called? Like, a... Um, like a breaker jacket, I guess. It was like a highlighter color. Oh, yeah. The neon. Yeah. yeah. So how did you, um like, do you go out and, like, buy that stuff? or do, And then you just add your designs to it? Yeah, sometimes I add my designs to it. And sometimes, like, if it's something that I can't find, I'll just get it custom made. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So um, what's, like, your number one piece that you sold that you everybody comes and get? Uh, uh, I would I, definitely. Out uh, of the men and women part. Or just the women as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely say um, one of my T-shirts on my shop is say "Thick Girls." Mm-hmm. So like all the girls, like I like that shirt. Okay. And um, as far as the men, it's a shirt that say "Hard." It's a yellow shirt with like a blue colorway, kind of mm-hmm. motorsporty look. Okay. And they were like, "Man, that's dope." Yeah. All right, so with that, like I just want to expand on his thing a little bit. Like you, you got a lot of like you know, loud colors. Like, is that, like, by, you know, by design or you just kind of, like, was, like, you know what I'm saying, to make yourself stand out? Like, some people, they do, like, let's just say, all right, you do the, the traditional white shirt, the black shirt, the gray shirt. But, like, like when you go to your website, you see, like, the orange, you see the neon yellow or, the, you know, the green, whatever have you. And so, do you do that on, you know, on purpose or is it just kind of like, all right, I think this color will go good with this color and then you just put it out there like that? Um, yeah, no, I don't do it on purpose. Um, I still try to keep everything calm. Like, I got a lot of black t-shirts, like Lloyd t-shirts, black and white. Mm-hmm. Try to keep it calm for the men, but, um, I just thought it was dope, you know, and it kind of made everything stand out as far as my content, and, um, I noticed that, like, all the colors, like, orange, neon, like, it's just, it's, it's in style now. Mm-hmm. But when I first dropped my shop, it was just me, like. That's what I liked it, and I noticed that now it's trending. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, that's dope. You know, I see a lot of people with neon, greens, colors. Yeah. All right, all right. So out of everything you've done, what's your favorite? As far oh, as? As the des- designs. Uh, my favorite, just a, I would love it. Like, just, so you don't, have, you don't have one that, that stands out more than the other ones? Um, I mean, I love them all, but maybe um, I would have to say the... Um, the F average shirt because it you know yeah. it's pretty dope just a black shirt with a red colorway but it have a lot of meaning to it like and it kind of express like you know my life like everything that I've been through like cool cool would you um go off into lingerie for the women for the holidays or just you know have your own yeah I'll be I'll be down for it yeah. I'm always down yeah I'm always down for it that's cool as far as the models, like how did so you you model your own stuff? <clears throat> Do you have like a team of, of models that you can go to 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 help you model your stuff? Yeah, both. Yeah. I collaborate with different um different models, and you know, like I tell them, you don't even have to be a model. You just have a nice look, and right. you right, know, right. just to make the woman feel good. And yeah, I want to do a photo shoot. That's nice, you know. And I um, give them merch for free, and um, yeah, I just think it's good to. Um, that's why I collaborate with so many people because. I feel like if I, you know, you don't have to be a model, but, you know, can you model my brand? Would you be interested in collaborating? Mm-hmm. They say, yeah, we link up, we collaborate. Not only are they wearing my shirt, not only did they get a free piece of merch that I'm confident in, but now they're getting exposure and content on my page and vice versa. Right. So people, I'm bring, I'm getting, I'm gaining an audience on their end. Like, people are like, where you get that from? That's nice. And now they, mm-hmm. the traffic is running to my page, so I love collaborating with different people. Yeah, that's why I asked that because he, he mentioned the lingerie and I thought that would like blow up crazy right. really? if you did that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So I want to know uh, how important is social media been to <coughs> your uh, promotion process uh, for your brand as far as because uh, you kind of just touched on it a little bit when you're saying about kind of like collaborating with different people but like is that like your number one source to like show off your, your merchandise for your for your brand or do you like you know, have other avenues or yeah other avenues is always good because you know if the internet if instagram shut down it's like what's next you know right, right. Yourself, you always got to network and get out there so i try to like reach out to people you know it's kind of kind of hard i don't know what it is you know 
like you know I feel like a lot of people just really like for they self like mm. you know in Chicago but um, yeah mm-hmm. so um, have you ever reached out to like uh, like some popular people maybe some uh, local celebrities to help push your brand and endorse it if so who and if not would you and who would, who, do, who would you have in mind to do that Oh yeah, I'm like a fucking down their backs. Like yeah. I'm in every celebrity <laughs> DM. Like you can make me look crazy, but it's my time go come. Like I'm, hey, my name is Marisha. I don't know if Marisha Pop Shop, which would be interested in sending you over merch. I'm not even trying to sell it. Can I send right. it over send to you? Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of celebrities. A lot of celebrities show me love from. Um, I see. Uh, man, so many from like Juicy J, Katie Got Bands, Brittany Taylor. Um, Tory Lanez, like so many people, they be on my page and they like my picture. Um, I reach out to a lot of people. I sent over merch to like a couple of like real high like public figures. Um, mm-hmm. cool. um, Johnny Blaze, I think she was on Love and Hip Hop. You know, she, oh, that's my girl. She, yeah. <laughs> See, I sent us merch. She liked it. You know, she was like, "Thank you." Sent over like three shirts. I sent over something to like a couple of high fashion designers and. Yeah, that's my goal. And a lot of them, some of them, they really respond back. Like Bianca, just so many people in the industry. They really, they were like, yeah, your work is dope. And they'll send me their P.O. box or their address. And everything usually just be slow. Like right now, I'm in a steady place. But when I first started off, I was just saying it. Like I knew, I just had faith. But I'm like, man, I don't even got the money to send, you know, send shirts off. But I just, yeah. Cool. And um, I see you make, you know, the shirts that say thick girls. So do you, are you making shirts for the big hefty guys like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The big fellas. I mean, all my shirts, they go up to X, X. Okay. So, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> if P looking to get into modeling, he's, so he, he trying to get I'm an extra large. <laughs> <laughs> what would you, like, put on the, on the shirt? Like, would it be like, you know? Four. For like the hefty do for P, matter of fact. <laughs> I mean, like all of my shirts, I feel like they're dope. It's like, um, like you said, a hefty do can still heart, wear. Yeah. yeah, like it's so many different ones, like loyalty, ambition, levels. Like it's just so many. Like it just really depends on like which one you like. You might see one with a nice colorway. Like man, I like that one. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. Let's see here. Um. With 2019, it's, it's days away. Um, what are your plans for the new year with, with your brand? Like, what, what are some of the things you want to do that you haven't done this year in 2019? Yeah, I think I want to, um, i definitely been taking a, a break. Like, I've been kind of going slow, and I think it's because everything goes going slow. Mm-hmm. So, like, basically in 2019, I, yeah, I kind of want to, like, practice more consistency like never stopping like even if it just look dark you know even if it seemed like no support even if it seemed like going slow mm. it seemed like I'm investing so much money and not getting back like, I just want to in 2019 I just want to have more confidence and more consistency like keep going like right. <laughs> yeah okay. with the brand so is there anything out there that's like caught your eye as far as um designs and brands I know you mentioned Kylie Jenner and all that yeah. Is anybody anybody else out there that you that you like that you mess with? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a brand from Chicago. I see a lot of brands in Chicago. They doing their thing. Um, I like um, Fashion Junkie. I like a couple of his mm-hmm. designs. And that's she just you know to shout out to on the east side. I'm not sure, but I know it's so many of them, like small brands in Chicago. Like I yeah. see, like an Inglewood store, like with the Inglewood merch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing it's Geek from Chicago. I'm seeing. Geek. Yeah, he from. Yeah, he from. So, yeah. All right. Um, like I said, what well, they said, 2019, what you got going on? Would you be able to? I mean, would you start doing pop up shops so people can, you know, stop up on you and grab some merch from you and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's what I'm working on next. Just. Yeah. Cool. They got that shit going on at um at Julian High School. Yeah. They're having like a whole bunch of vendors come in there. And, I don't know. I ain't heard of it. They do have stuff like that, and they invite yeah. you out and you mm-hmm. just like bad table. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 I know they do it. It's coming up in Vegas, I think, next month or February. You thinking of the uh, fashion convention? Yeah, the fashion convention. They got oh, check coming yeah. up. Yeah. No, they be having something at, at Julian. It's almost kind of like the flea market. 
Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's this kid. I I can't <clears> think <throat> if I follow him. I know my guy Reese follow him. My guy Reese do clothes. He got a, a clothing line by the name of uh, Renegades of the Runway, and he follows this this young cat. His name is I can't think what his name is, but his brand is called Humbly Arrogant. And uh, he I think he's been at the Julian thing a couple of times where I've seen him like uh, like Van from Black Ink Chicago's been up there and got some mm. some stuff from him. Um, for uh, a couple of them from that show has been on there. Some of the like personalities from like GCI and all that kind of stuff. Like the local celebs that you actually that you're looking for, you probably you know what I'm saying yeah. should probably look into that because yeah. you get you a table and you know what I'm saying for for you know it. Boom, right? You got them. You got everybody on there wearing stuff that, that, that you want to wear. That's real though. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I think that is um that's about it on my end. Um, is there anything you know you want to promote or uh you know well, first and foremost tell them what your social media information is so they can find you and then tell them your website where they can find the merch at. Um, well my social media is Marisha. My name is underscore M R I S H A underscore, and um my shop page is Marisha Pop Shop, M O R I S H A P O P Shop. And MarishaPopShop.net. Okay, okay, and it's pretty affordable on the price point. I did want to, I did mention, yeah. ask no, you I that. Need to raise my price. Yeah, you getting ready to raise them? Yes. Okay, you see, she said, like, hey, you let them know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Price coming yeah, up. A, yeah. In the words of Gucci, it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, y'all got anything else y'all want to ask me, Rishi? Uh, nah, I, just, I gotta get some merch from you. I, I was looking on the on your uh, Instagram. I like some shirts. I gotta get some from. Thanks. Yeah, man. Um, no, nah, that's it for me, man. I just wish you much success in 2019. You know. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That's about it for me as well. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We need we need some shirts for sure. I'm, I'm trying y'all. to be in a photo shoot. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you some of my shirts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Big Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Bad, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Big Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, nice talking to you. Thank, nice, nice talking to you as well. This is Boulevard Ave TV, uh, episode number 13. 13. 13. We'll catch y'all in the new year. Peace. Peace.